In this video, we're going to look at graphing rational functions, and I'm putting in parentheses same degree. And what I mean by same degree is, um, I could jump down to the example we're going to do, when the numerator has the same degree as the denominator. We have a, a first degree polynomial in the numerator and a first degree polynomial in the denominator. And so here's how the kind of the structure for, for graphing rational functions, at least how I'm going to show it. Um, we're going to first find our zeros, which are x-intercepts. And to do that, we're going to set our numerator equal to zero and solve just like in Algebra 1, okay? Um, you're setting your function equal to zero and solving. You're finding what's the value of x when y is zero, okay? That's all we're doing. Then we're gonna find our y-intercepts. That's the value of y when x is zero. So we're gonna substitute zero for x and solve. So this is all just Algebra 1 so far. To find our vertical asymptotes, we're gonna set the denominator equal to zero and solve. There's a few little ca caveats, oops. There's a few little caveats with this one. We start talking about holes of rational functions, but we'll get there later. And then, to me, the complicated part is horizontal asymptotes. And to figure out where the horizontal asymptotes, uh, I use the acronym Bobo, Bosco, and Botno. Um, if the degree is bigger on bottom, then you got a horizontal asymptote at zero. If both are the same, if you have, which is what we have today, we have the same degree in the numerator as we do in the denominator. So the asymptote is going to be the ratio of the coefficients. We're going to look at that in a minute. And then Botno means if the degree is bigger on top, there's no asymptote. There can also be slant asymptotes or oblique asymptotes. We're just not going into that just yet. So here, I'm just going to take this. I've got the same steps from the previous slides. If you can copy them down, you can copy those down. But let's just kind of go through these one by one. So the zeros are the x-intercepts. We're going to set the numerator equal to zero and solve. So I'm going to take the numerator, which is x minus 2. I'm going to set it equal to zero, and I'm going to solve. So if I add 2 to each side, we're going to get that x equals 2. That's going to be our zero of this rational function. Okay, then for y-intercepts, we're going to substitute 0 in for x and solve. In other words, I'm going to find f of 0. What's the value of y when x is 0? So if I do 0 minus 2 over 0 minus 3, that would give us negative 2 over negative 3, or in other words, 2 thirds. That means that the ordered pair 0, 2 thirds is on our graph, and it's the y-intercept. So if I come up here, if there's 1, then two-thirds would be about right there. Next, for our vertical asymptotes, we are going to set the denominator equal to zero and solve. So I'm going to take our, my denominator of x minus 3, I'm going to set it equal to zero, and I'm going to solve. So if I add 3 to each side, we get that x is 3. That means we have a vertical asymptote at 3. So I'm going to draw that. So we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 3. And then um, lastly, let's get to this horizontal asymptote. So we have our Bobo, Bosco, and Botno, and I believe I said on the previous slides, this is going to be a Bosco situation. And what I mean by that is we have a first-degree polynomial in the numerator and a first-degree polynomial in the denominator. That means that both are the same. We don't have like a fourth degree and a third degree or a second degree and a fifth degree. We have a first and a first. They're the same. So that horizontal asymptote is going to be the ratio of the coefficients. So I have a coefficient of 1 and a coefficient of 1. Well, 1 over 1 equals 1. That means we have a horizontal asymptote right here. And so now we're just going to graph, and I am running out of colors, so let me pull up another color. And just by knowing like how rational functions work and, and how they look, I know that's going to kind of be like our reciprocal function. It's going to kind of hit that, and then it's going to approach the vertical asymptote. And then it's going to be this, the opposite on this side. It's going to go like this, okay? If you weren't sure, you just pick a point that's over here. If here's our vertical asymptote 3, put a 4 into your function and see what you get. And you see, if we put a 4 in, we're going to get a positive number. So we know we're going to be um, specifically a positive number greater than 1. So if you're kind of more than likely, more than likely, I'll say that if you're down here, you're going to be up here versus being down here. But if you're not sure, just put some values for x into your function. Put in a 4, 5, 6. Make sure you're getting numbers up here. Um, and the more points that you do manually, the more accurate your graph will be. But this video has kind of shown you the bones for how to graph a rational function. 